going on guys? CJR here today, a grown man in a uh, Pokemon shirt. Um, if you want to see where I got this shirt, um, I'll spoil it right now. It's from an arcade block and you can actually see the video right here. Uh, really good month. Um, probably the only Pokemon shirt that I'll ever wear. I mean, and by wear, I mean strictly down here in my game room. I don't think I could actually just go out in public and wear a Pokemon shirt. That's fine if, uh, if, if you do, like, that's great. Just um, me personally, I don't know if I could wear Pokemon outside of the house. But uh, pretty cool for a Pokemon shirt. So uh, that's one of my pickups. Um, I wanted to go through the stuff I've picked up for the uh, past couple weeks or so here. Um, I figured I got enough stuff to at least make a quick little video. And you guys seem to like pickup videos because that's really kind of what I do and how I got started on YouTube between this and garage selling. Um, which I actually talked about in another previous video, which I'll post here, um, how I got started on YouTube. Um, but yeah, let's get into the pickups. I actually just picked this up an hour ago. Um, this is the Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X Special Edition. Um, there's a posting for this on Kijiji, uh, it's like Canadian Craigslist, um, for a hundred bucks. And uh, I almost picked it up, I saw one at EB GameStop in the US uh, for like it's 139 here in Canada. So he had it at 100, but best offer. I offered him 80 and he said, Yeah, come pick it up tomorrow. Uh, when I got there, it's a little beat up on the corners there, but for 80 bucks, um, it was still sealed. The game inside is sealed, everything's sealed. It, it, uh, the box was sealed when I opened it up. So um, basically, I didn't even open my uh, original. Actually, no, I did open that one. Um, I opened that one. This one's still sealed, so I'm gonna sell off this copy. And uh, I I, I pre-ordered it a long time ago, so I actually ended up only paying I think fifty-five dollars Canadian for my other one. Uh, so if I can get fifty uh, or sixty bucks for this copy, probably fifty. Um, really, I'm only paying. What? How does that work out? I'm paying like thirty bucks for the game in the special edition. Yeah, something like that. So, ended up being a good deal if I can just flip my other one, which I will if it's it's still sealed. So, um, yeah, picked that up earlier today. Really happy about that. It's got like an art book, <coughs> art book inside. You can find a ton of unboxings of that online, uh, much like this one. Um, lots of people did unboxings of these. They're they're pretty common. They're not hard to find. Um, this one, all it is is amiibo. So I don't really do unboxings. This one maybe it's a little more limited, but uh, I try and only do unboxings of games that are. Um, really limited. Um, yeah, so I picked up uh, the um, uh, Twilight Princess HD with the uh, Amiibo. I still haven't had a chance to get to that. I've been playing a bunch of other stuff, uh, which you guys will see after this video, what I'm playing video. Uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, one game in particular that I'm playing a lot of. That's why I haven't got to this. I'm really going on and on today. Pick that up. Okay. Also, did an unboxing for um, Saturday Morning RPG. You'll find the video right there. Uh, a really cool limited run of um, games that were only digital before by a company called Limited Run Games. So, uh, yeah, Saturday Morning RPG. Feel free to check out the video. I talk about those in more in depth. Pick those up. I'll get this out of the way. I just thought I had to, would mention this. I posted it on Instagram. Um, I've been looking for a uh, Bluetooth speaker for a long time, like years, um, mainly to use in my shower. I like to like wake up in the morning, blast some music and have it in my shower. So this is a water resistant speaker, totally will hold up in the shower, dust resistant. Um, this is the best Bluetooth speaker, in my opinion, that you can buy. Obviously I haven't tried every one, but this makes the Beats pill sound like a piece of crap. Uh, the bass and the volume that comes from this thing are astounding. It's called the Shark. And this is the Shark, oh, which one is this again? Shark Commando, that's it. Um, it has a built-in power bank, like it's got like 20 hours of battery life and you can actually charge your phone from the built-in battery on here. Super durable, made of like metal and rubber, it's quite heavy. But the sound from this thing is just, I was in shock how good that thing sounds. There is a cheaper version, um, I think I paid, what did I pay? Like $69.99, there's one for 60, that was on a pretty deep discount from Amazon. I believe they're sold out now. But they have another one that you can actually submerge in water. So you can drop it in the tub or the lake or whatever and it'll still survive. So they're actually really, really nice speakers. So if you're looking for one of these, check out Shark, they're amazing. 
Um, picked up this, um, what do they call this? Book zine, I think. Did they call them book zine? It's like a magazine, but uh, basically it's by Retro Game Magazine. Retro Gamer Magazine out of the UK. Uh, but they do like this, uh, what do they call them? Periodicals, annual book zines where they do like a special big edition. Um, they've done them on the Genesis Super Nintendo book, which I have back there. Uh, PlayStation 1, Nintendo, NES. Um, very expensive here in Canada. This was 20, like $29 after tax, but just such a cool piece. This one focuses on arcade classics. Very, very cool to have on your uh, coffee table. Love flipping through these. So much so that I actually signed up for a um, subscription. And I signed up for 26 issues. So I think you get uh, one per month for two years, plus you get the two, I don't know, periodicals? Is that the way to say a yearly special book thing? Um, yeah, so you get two of those in there too, I believe. So it, it worked out to be $8 Canadian per issue, which is actually pretty decent. Because I think the sticker price on the regular ones are, I think, $17 Canadian plus tax. So um, that came out to $8 flat, I believe, for those 26 issues. So I'm really happy with that. Um, decided to do that. I also got my issue of Retro Magazine. It's a special, uh, there's a big thing on Star Wars in here. I really enjoy Retro. I, I touched on this magazine. Um, I made a video before this one, again, about how I started on YouTube. And... Uh, one of the one of my influences was Mike Kennedy, who is known for retro game magazine, retro v, v, VGS, and the uh, Coleco Chameleon. So, yeah, I talk more about him in that previous video. So feel free to check that out. But uh, got that. I think I've got a couple more issues coming. I have every issue except for number one, which I actually really wanted to get a hold of, but uh, I tried, and it's not not easy. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this. The Division, this is what I've been putting most of my time into. Uh, it's amazing. I really like it. Um, I've been told that the like the the end game content that's in here right now is between like 15 and 20 hours. That's more than enough for me. I pre-ordered this like th three years ago. So I paid uh, $39.99 plus tax in Canada through my pre-order deal that I do through uh, Best Buy. So I didn't have a whole lot into it. I'll be able to flip it and probably make, probably sell it for uh, 60 bucks uh, when I'm done with it. Um, I'm going to talk, I don't want to get too in depth because the next video you're going to see after this one is the, uh, what I'm playing. And I'm going to talk a lot about uh, my impressions of this. Uh, one game that I just realized I forgot here that I picked up is Fire Emblem Birthright. I think it's Birthright that I have. Again, I'll talk about that in the next video, my impressions of that. I've been putting a lot of time into it so that can tell you something. Um, Excuse me. Picked up Street Fighter V. Do not buy this. It's a complete ripoff. Again, I got it on my pre-order deal for... It was $59.99, so that dropped it. Yeah, $39 plus tax. So I didn't pay full price for this, thank God. Um, I am going to get rid of this as soon as possible and then buy it back when I can get it cheaper and there's actually a game. Uh, it's it's really, really light on, uh, on features. There's not even an arcade mode. There's no real story mode. It's a joke. Uh, most annoying is there's no tutorial mode, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this for a while. But do not buy this at full price. The fighting's fantastic, graphics, the fighting engine's great. If you just want to buy it to play online, and then I, I, I guess you're good to go. But that's really all it is. Mega Man Legacy Collection on the PS4. I forget if I showed this off already. Again, I forgot. Oh, it's sitting over there, but I have it on the 3DS. That's where I've been playing it. This is still sealed. I don't know why I even got on the PS4. I should probably get rid of it. Um, and then I picked up some games from my buddy Matt, who recently, uh, Volminator, you can check out Matt's channel. I'll put a link for Matt's channel in the description below. Um, my buddy Matt Volmin, uh, has, he, uh, Gamer Alley VT is what he goes by on YouTube. So check out his channel. Um, he sold his uh, PS4. So he was looking for money to get the PS... No, he sold his Xbox One, so he's looking for money to trade so he can buy the PS4 or trade or whatever he did. So he wanted to get rid of a couple games. Um, got this back from him. Um, Garden Warfare 2, Plants vs. Zombies. I originally had it. I didn't think I was going to play it. Played the um, demo, or, or not, uh, EA Access, my 10 free hours. I put like five or six in and realized that I enjoy it. So I, I got it back from him because he was going to trade it in. Um, Halo 5 Guardians I got back from him. 
Um, I played it and then he picked it up for me when I was done with it. And then he uh, gave it back to me. And then uh, Toy Soldiers, War Chest. I've been meaning to pick this up. I passed this up for like 10 bucks a while back. He gave me a really cheap deal. I, he wouldn't have got much trade for that. I think the DLC is used. So I think I paid five bucks for that one. And uh, Connect Sports Rivals. Um, Andrew's getting older, older now. So I thought that he might enjoy something like this. Uh, Teddy's still a little young for that. And then Project Spark, he just threw in. Um, I don't even think this disc is actually anything. I, I think you can just download it now or something like that. I think it's like free to play basically. So yeah, that's that's it for the past couple weeks pickups. Stay tuned, the weather's getting really nice here. I think we might be done with the snow, which hopefully means that we're gonna get an early garage sale um, season. I'm at the point of the year now where I've started watching my own videos in anticipation and going back, oh man, I remember I picked that up last year. I, I always do this. Um, so I'm really getting excited for this year. Uh, garage sale season and as as always I say every year I just I, I'm like okay there's no way it can be as good as last year um, chances are there's gonna be at least three to five new people out there um, probably one more usually every year one guy pops up who's really serious about it and uh, they're out there every weekend but then you also have one or two that might drop off so in my area it's always me and Andrew we're the two top dogs there was one guy who was like third uh, for a couple years, but he stopped going like two years ago. I haven't really seen him out anymore. Um, there was a European guy that we saw out every day last year. He wasn't out nearly. I saw him out um, maybe once or twice this year or this past year. But then this other, um, there's a guy and his daughter that popped up last year and uh, they're really serious about it. So they'll definitely be out again. So I'm anticipating it'll be Andrew, the guy and his, I think it's his daughter. Might be a really young girlfriend. And then me are the three kind of main guys around here that are out every single weekend. And then there's a couple more guys, five or six other people who are out almost every other weekend. So uh, again, I'm going to assume that I won't do as well as last year. Last year I did really well. So um, yeah, anyways, guys. Yeah, so stay tuned for more um, garage sale videos coming soon. My channel will be back to normal. Um, I'm going to Florida in April. I'm going to Midwest Gaming Classic. So I'll be vlogging those experiences. Uh, the vlogs will be back pretty much from April right through September. So you can uh, stay or look forward to one of those every couple weeks or every week or something, whatever I do. Um, but yeah, channels uh, should be getting back to normal now, um, back to most of why you guys were here. So anyways, guys, that's it for my pickups for this week. Uh, you can really help me out by just hitting that like button. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and until the next episode.